Hey, what's up, guys? This is Wasi from Flame9VisualEffects.com, and welcome to my brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to create really amazing particle logo animation inside of Adobe After Effects. So let's see what we will create today. If you are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button for more amazing content and don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoy this video. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so first create a new composition. Let's call it logo animation. And as always, well I'm going with 1920 1080p from 30, duration 10 seconds, then hit OK. Now import our logo. You can also use text. Now select our logo then place it into this timeline then press S and make your logo bigger like this then uh, right click then choose pre-compose then select mobile attributes and rename it to logo then hit ok now press S and decrease the size like this then right click Recompose, select mobile attributes and rename it to logo particles then hit ok now go to effect and preset window and search for cc call action now select this effect and apply onto this layer now uh, ball size set it 70 and grid spacing set it 4 now go to beginning of this animation set a keyframe on scatter and scatter value set it minus 1024 then go to around 1 seconds then scatter value set it minus 355 then go to around 1 second 24 frames then scatter value set it uh, minus 300 and then go to around 3 seconds set it zero now press u on your keyboard now select all keyframes then right click then click on easy ease then open graph editor then select this point then double click on it then click on this uh, option then click on ok now change the graph graph to something like this perfect okay now twist property set it rectangular and then set a keyframe on rotation and twist angle rotation value set it minus 79 and twist angle set it 38 then go to around 3 seconds then Rotation set it 0 and twist angle set it 0. Then press U on your keyboard, select these keyframes, open, then right click, then click on Easy Ease, then open Graph Editor, and then change the graph curve to like this. perfect okay now create a new camera so right click new then click on camera then hit ok now create a null object so right click new then click on null object and make this null object 3d by clicking here now select this camera 1 then paint it to null 1 now go to beginning of this animation and um, press R on your keyboard set a keyframe on Z rotation and Z rotation value set it to 276 then go to around 3 seconds then rotation value set it 0 now again go to beginning of this animation now press P 
set a keyframe on position increase the z value like this then go to around three seconds and z value amount set zero now press u on your keyboard select these keyframes right click easy ease open graph editor and then simply change the graph curve to something like this perfect okay let's add echo on this layer and echo time set it minus 0.002 number of echo set it 20 and decay set it 0.77 and echo operator set it maximum now you can see a nice motion blur okay now add deep glow okay now um, exposure set it 0 0.40 then go to input and increase the threshold amount like 39 Let's run preview this. Looks good to me. Let's add brightness and contrast. Increase the brightness a little bit and increase the contrast as well. Okay, now go to project window and create another composition. Let's call it glossy logo. Then hit OK. Now select our logo, then place it into this timeline. Now uh, import our reflection map. You can download these files from link in the description box below. Now select this reflection map layer and place it into this timeline. Now change this layer track map to our logo layer like this. Now add CC glass on it. Now go to surface, then pump map set it logo and then softness set it 50. Height set it 100 and displacement set it minus 160. Now add CC Blobilize. Then open Blobiness. Blob layer set it logo. Then softness set it 15. Cut away set it 5. Perfect. Now go to project window and select our logo comp then place it into this timeline. Now select this reflection layer then change the layer blending mode to screen like this. Now go to around 3 seconds then press T on your keyboard set a keyframe on opacity then go to around 4 seconds and opacity value set it 0. Ok let's run the this. looks good to me now go to logo animation comp then select our glossy logo comp then place it into this timeline then press s and make it smaller and align it perfect now select this layer then uh, move this layer forward like this 
now go to toolbar and select ellipse tool then create a mask like this then go to max properties then set a keyframe on max path go forward few frames then double click on this max path then increase this path like this and increase the feather amount Okay, looks good to me now select this logo particles layer then press T set a keyframe on opacity go forward few frames then opacity value set it 0 perfect Let's adjust the keyframe. Okay, let's import our shockwaves. You can download these files from Invert Elements. Okay, now select this uh, shockwave uh, seven layer, then place it into this timeline and simply change the layer mode to add now right click go to time and click on time reverse layer okay let's trim this layer And adjust the timing a little bit like this now uh, select our shockwave uh, layer 1 then place it into this timeline let's trim this layer like this and change the layer mode to add and adjust the position like this select this layer and make it smaller a little bit like this looks good to me Okay, now create a text so right click new then click on text so let's type your text here now create a null object so right click new then click on null object now select this uh, glossy logo and then this text layer then paint it to null 2 now go to around here then select this null layer then press s set a keyframe on scale then go to end of this uh, animation and increase the scale value like this now select our text layer then press t set a keyframe on opacity value set it zero go forward few frames and value set it 100 percent okay looks good to me let's create a adjustment layer now add sharpen on it
sharpen amount city 10 then add noise and amount of noise city 5 okay our animation is complete let's try and preview this Looks good to me. If you want to change the logo, then simply go to project window, then select this logo comp, then double click on this comp, then import your new logo like this, then simply drag it into this timeline turn off this first logo and then simply go to our main composition and here you go and you can change the text as well select the text double click then simply add your text here So yes, our animation is complete. That's it for today's video. I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any questions, then do let me know in the comment. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel. And I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay safe.